I would have been a well digger's ass here today. Yeah, there's Trent. There he is, look at him. Up to nothing as usual. Fuck's sake, it's cold. <laughs> I think I've got one bollock at the moment and looks like a walnut. <laughs> Shit, me. I haven't got any fingers. So, pruning, December, January. Yep. Yeah? Yeah. Now that's how it should look at the end of the year. Yeah. What's the first thing to be doing? What am I aiming for? What you're aiming for is you're aiming for four good shoots. Four good shoots. Four healthy shoots. Nice width and diameter. This I would call a healthy shoot. Okay. Well, these, these three here. Yeah. <clears throat> Why not the fourth one? Because he's stuck. What's stuff about him? It ha didn't grow very, very far. The buds are really close together, and you're only really going to get a duck shoot the next year. So you got well, this one. This one's the only one that's really branching as well. This. Yeah. When you when you come to prune it. Yeah. This is last year's wood here. Yeah. You're going to cut the vine here. Okay. Your crown. You always want your crown below. <laughs> your first grow wire. Okay. okay, so what we got here is two tying wires there, yep. two tying wires up here, yep. and right in the center, there are two fixed wires that don't move anywhere, and that's your, that's kind of your grow zone yep. around yep. those. Yeah, this is and you want the crown sitting below the bottom of those two yep. grow wires. Exactly. <clears throat> See how I teach you? <laughs> so you'll cut, you make your, your cut here, yep. and all of this, Take away. Yep. Then you clean these up. What does that mean? Take off, take off all, all, all. Hang on. Take off all the little stubby bits. The tendon here. Yep. Clean it up. And then you're going to tie these two. Yep. To. Sorry. This grow wire. The yep. bottom grow wire. Yep. yep. So one going that way. Yep. One going that way. Yep. And then you're going to tie this one to the top row wire. So you're aiming for a kind of double T. If you if you could have four. Yeah, if you had four, you had one going that way, and you have one going that way. On both wires. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. So you you have an H. You're catching on. <laughs> the abuse never stops. <laughs> <laughs> um, but after you clean them up, you're going to leave about eight, six to eight buds per shoot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you, hang on, let's do that again. You count from the head. Yep. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Doesn't matter what side of the vine, uh, of the of the arm of, of growth that they're on. Just eight nope. eight buds. Okay. So you cut it there. Yep. Get rid of that, and you'll do the same on each shoot. Yep. <clears throat> then you tie it. When it comes to tying it down. Yep. Oh, my fingers, man. It's freezing. <laughs> so you have your taping machine. You nope. now have your cane. You yep. shoot. Yep. Tape there. Yep. Tape there. Yep. Okay. Proper now job. We've got buds. We Are you trying to get that really flat against the wire? Or yeah. Yeah. Secure and flat so that when the wind blows, yep. it's not going to break free. It'll be there. Okay. And if you bring the camera under, see. We, we can position... Now he's Buddy Martin Scorsese. We can position the buds now. Yep. So that when they open up... Okay. There's this one here. Yep. That one there. That one there. That one there. That's yep. going to go down <coughs> already. So now we only have one, two, three buds that we're going to have to worry about them coming up. Okay. And then we'll... Those are the ones we'll really concern, uh, focus on bending down with the wire here. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. Now, let me see if I get this right, okay? Right. You've got the crown right in here, and that's the heart of the plant. And that will go like a big fat fist in a few years' time, yeah? Correct. And from that, all the shoots grow. Correct. Now, these shoots, they only last two years. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. So they grow out. 
These two have grown this year, and you tie them in just like you've shown us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You tie them in there, and then they produce fruit. They produce fruit in the year that you know from them comes fruit, and the first year they grow, and in the second year they produce two. In that second year, we want another four at least shoots coming through because they're going to replace these. They're going to be a year behind them because in the second year, after the second year. So this time next year, this time next year, we're going to chop number one, number two, and the same the other side, three and four. We're going to chop them out, and they'll be replaced by the ones that are in this state in a year's time. Correct. That's bloody lovely. I get it. Bigger, and it's healthy. It's it's more mature. Mm -hmm. As you're pruning everything away, the first healthy shoots that you come to. Sometimes you can leave a spur. A spur is a technical term for a short shoot that has two buds on it. Okay. And what that allows you to do is give you a bit of security that if you don't have any buds developing in the crown, you have then two definite buds on that spur. Okay. Belt and braces. Sorry? Belt and braces. Belt. You would you wouldn't know about that kind of thing no, in, yeah, in America. Uh, it, it just it just means you double security. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah?